What's up DaVinci Resolve community, welcome back to another video. My name is Jake Whip and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 3D photo effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. Now if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. And also head over to my Discord server. What that is, is a spot that you guys can share your work and get feedback. You guys can ask questions about DaVinci Resolve and get answers in real time. Then this is a spot that you guys can hang out with other creators. We're currently at 250 members and growing. Link in the description below. Alright, so let's get right into it. As you can see, this is all inside of Fusion, inside of this Fusion clip. And this is a super easy effect to pull off. You can do this in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. But what I'm going to do is grab my Fusion clip again, place it at the end, and let's jump into this and start making the effect. So I have already created a preset that's going to make it a lot easier for you guys to do this. So what you'll do is once you guys download that, there's a link in the description below to where you guys can get that. All you have to do is drag it inside of Fusion and you get this node, okay? And this just has the uh, main input, which is going to be uh, your uh, video and then the output and then the uh, mask or the foreground and that's going to be what all, all the displacement is coming into. Then we have the position uh, which the displacement is going to be which you can control just by this and then also the intensity. And you might be thinking this is all in 2D how's it going to be a 3D effect? Well you'll see in a bit once we get our uh, depth map done. So let's go ahead and start making our depth map. Let's just grab a background node and set this to gradient, okay? And what we'll do is we'll grab the start point and just put it uh, about right here. And then we'll grab the end point and put it back there, okay? And now we'll put the start point to uh, full on white. And then we'll put the end point to a little bit uh, of a grayish color, okay? And now let's put a, a polygon into this and go ahead and outline your subject. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and view this background. And as you can see, it is just going to be an outline when, and it'll get slowly darker as it goes um, to the right. So let's go ahead and add like a little bit of a soft edge to it, okay? And now what we'll do is merge this up with another background. And this uh, background too is going to be coming in as the background. So we need to do Control T on the merge to make it so it is coming into the yellow, which is the background. Now if we view this, it'll have a black background, which what we'll do is make this uh, like a grayish color. If it is black, it'll have no movement at all. So we want just a little bit of move movement uh, into the shot. Now that this is done, let's go ahead and plug this into the 3D Photo Maker. And now if I click this and start moving this point, as you can see, it already has some 3D effects. All right, so there we go. Now we have our 3D effect in, okay? And as you can see, that's doing some weird effects. Uh, so what, what we'll do is come into the polygon, then just up the soft edge a good amount, okay? And uh, it all depends on the shot, uh, but that's gonna be pretty good. And now as you can see, that's going to be a much cleaner effect. Then if you guys wanted, you could also come and crank up the intensity. Uh, that will be only in a few shots or a few pictures that you'd want to do that. But that is way too intense for our purposes, so I'm just going to leave it at the default. And now we can go ahead and animate this. So I'll just uh, put this up in the corner um, and then add a keyframe at the first frame. And then let's go to the end one and we'll add another keyframe after we uh, make our movement. Okay, so something like that, I think. Now if we come to the spline editor and view this, we can just uh, hit the zoom to fit, and now we can select these and then just hit F. And that'll make it so it eases out, and then we'll speed up a little bit, only to ease in, okay? There you go, your effect is done. So as you can see, this is an extremely easy effect to pull off, and it gives you some really cool looking results. If you come back to the edit page, once this red line turns blue, it'll be ready for completely smooth playback. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a like and comment down below if you guys have any questions. Remember to subscribe and join the Discord server, link in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for another video.